I'm Carol Celine talking with oncologic neurosurgeon Dr. David Andrews. Your specialty is malignant brain tumors, and these are some of the most aggressive and hard to treat tumors. And you've become world renowned for a procedure known as stereotactic radio surgery. Could you explain what that is? Sure. The way I explain it to patients is if sunlight were a form of treatment, we're now interposing a magnifying glass. So if you pass your hand through the refractive rays, you don't feel the heat until you get to the focal point and then you burn your hand. So if you plot the thermal energy, it, it's, it's very low and then it spikes at the focal point. We can do the same thing with x-rays and gamma rays, except rather than a focal point, we can actually paint an entire target intracranially with a very high dose of radiation. So this is to increase the dose of radiation and direct it direct, direct. directly at the tumor, so Correct. to speak. Now, um, you particularly do a lot of tumors that are close to the senses, is that correct? Correct. So that you're trying not to injure the sense you're working yes. to save? And you've had some remarkable uh, cases. Tell us about one of them. So actually patients that were losing their vision uh, due to a benign tumor that was wrapped around the optic nerve were actually just previously relegated to going blind. I mean, they were just followed until they went blind. So we then directed this focused radiation, but at very small daily doses, and we're shocked to not only kill the tumor, but restore their vision. How many stereotactic radio surgeries have you done? I established the program at Jefferson in 1994 and have since done about 3,000 cases. Mm -hmm. So we've established ourselves, I think, internationally for what we've achieved. Can you use this procedure for anything besides brain tumors? Yes, uh, it is used for other afflictions like facial pain. Uh, the more exotic applications include psychiatric disorders like obsessive compulsive disorder. So we don't practice the functional as much as we do for the oncologic, mm -hmm. although we do treat a number of patients with facial pain. You're also looking at another way to treat brain tumors, a more immunologic way. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. So this, it's, this is kind of my, you know, my life work. Uh, I initiated a trial over a decade ago uh, in which we took the tumor out of the patient, created a wound in the abdomen, and re-implanted the tumor cells that were treated a particular way in the abdomen, uh, encapsulated in small, what we call diffusion chambers. And it was quite astounding. We, tr we actually enrolled 12 patients and um, saw unequivocally objective responses in the brain in two-thirds of them. So it was, un it was we thought, an immune response, uh, but it's taken a decade and quite a bit of very generous donors to actually reopen the trial. So it's a new FDA trial that is now open. So you started by implanting the tumor cells in a chamber in the stomach. They attracted an immune reaction, and that immune reaction helped kill the tumor cells in the brain. Correct. This sounds so promising. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome.